Welcome to the second in a series of video tutorials for Football Manager 2007 for the Xbox 360. Within this tutorial video, we will look at how to familiarise yourself with staff and how to assess your players. It's important to make sure that you're fully aware of what your staff members can do for you. Within Football Manager 2007, you can leave a lot of the background going on to your staff or if you want to have control over everything, you can get stuck into the goings on of your youth team or your reserve teams. You can view your staff from your squad screen by pressing the L, B or RB buttons on your control pad, then selecting information and then staff. From here you'll have the complete list of all the current non-playing staff at your club, from the chairman through all of the scouts. By pressing up and down on the directional pad, you can view their contract status as well as their mental and coaching attributes. You'll get a warning from your assistant when contracts are near an end, but keeping an eye on them will keep you one step ahead. Be advised though that the personnel above the manager's contracts and attributes cannot be viewed. If you have taken over the club you support, you should have a rough idea of where your squad needs strengthening. If you've taken a club which you don't know much about, or even anything about, the best way to assess your players is through the staff you have around you. Your staff can help you by providing player reports, team reports and many other things, and this is all accessible from the coach's profile page. After setting this up, and possibly some friendly matches as well, you may need to skip your team on by a few weeks to get the relevant information back from your staff. Pull the right trigger on your squad screen and select assistant advice and then team report and this will take the player to the assistant manager's perspective of your team. It will show the best player, the worst player and the player with the best potential in the three main areas of your team, defender, midfielder and attacker. By pressing the X and Y buttons, you can also see the assistant's choice for a starting 11 and second 11 respectively.